The linkage setup to a throttle body as well is very important. Whether you've got an eccentric linkage or just a direct one-to-one -one linkage, right? In some cases with big throttle bodies, they have an eccentric link linkage. And what that means is as you start to apply the throttle, it will open slower than you're actually putting the foot down. Then when you get to about three quarter throttle, it will open up quicker. That's what an eccentric linkage is. And that's sometimes what we recommend depending on the scenario. So there is a lot to be taken in, into account with a throttle body. Another thing to look at is when you go replacing throttle body with an aftermarket throttle body like this, there's no idle speed device on there, right? Now an idle speed device is a comfort device. You want to be able to go out in the morning, hit the key, have it idle up to 1200 RPM while, while it's warming up, slowly come down in a, a scenario like this at 700 RPM, have it idling at 700 RPM when it's warm. You also want it to catch the idle as you're getting off the throttle, coming up to a set of lights or up to a stop, right? People will say to us generally, I don't care about that, I'll sit and warm the car up. That's all good and well for about the first, let's say month, until they've got over that enjoyment of the car and then they go, oh, it stalls when it's cold, it stalls when I pull up at sets of lights, or I have to have the car running at 1200 RPM all the time to keep it idling. That is something to take into account with buying a throttle body.